Uh, I'm know, filming. We, we put the boom on, right? Yep. Yeah. And what we're doing, we're tightening up all the bolts, right? We're gonna put the paddle nuts on. Yep. Yeah. And then we're gonna lay the the cables out so we can hook it up to the bridle. These these cables that are on the boom over yeah, there. That's right. We'll have to pull the bridle back to the line to, to, to put the pins in. See, that's probably too far back, so we got to pull that back. And that's and that's the bridle that's right the bridle. there. That's the bridle. Yeah. yeah. See the four holes there. Yep. Yeah. Right. And so what we're gonna pull back with a come along or no uh, or what? I was gonna say we get the forklift or something. Something we'll put a chain on and pull it. And I'll get up and It's hard to let that pull that uh -huh. cable. It's, it's eight part, you know. So you just you'll uh, let the brake off. And we'll we'll pull it with the dozer that's or something. Right, exactly. Okay. But we uh, we want to know how far we're gonna have to go. That's why I want to pull the cables out on the boom so we know how far we have to go to hook it on. Okay. And then after we hook those cables on from over there, yeah. That, and then what's the next step? And we're gonna we're gonna boom it up, right? We're gonna boom it. We're gonna throw that plywood, and we're gonna boom it up. And that gantry is gonna go up in the air, but it's not gonna go high enough, I don't think. So we'll have to put a chain on and get a bulldozer in the back and pull it back just a little bit so we can put the pins in there. See the pins in the bottom? Yep. Yeah, we take them out. See, and the, the, that you'll see that all hooked, and you should have one guy on each side. And nobody can stand under that bridle. Right. Because I mean that's there. Right, the gantry. Because if it ever came down, it'd kill you. So the so the back half of the gantry is already pinned into the roof. Oh yeah, that's all set. You just got to pick that up and put these legs in. Uh huh. You see the ADD how the, down there? How the how it's way up in the air like that? Well, yeah. Be the same thing. You know? Okay. Oh, so so, the, so those pins are going way up yeah, on the roof. Right. Exactly. Okay. You know? Because the gantry will be like an A-frame almost. Right. You know? Okay. Yeah. That's right. And you're, and you're saying if, if you can't boom it up high enough, you'll pull the top of the A-frame uh, uh, yeah, with yeah, the dozer we'll on the other we'll side. Pull it back a little bit, you know? And that'll that'll give it yeah. the last inch we if we need to. You can leave the boom hooked on, or I can back off a little bit more so, you know? Uh-huh. Okay. But really, when that boom's up in the air, it did not take much to, to pull it back. And the main thing we got to watch, we don't want to pull too much, because the boom will roll back. Go over center, yeah. Oh, that would call, oh, yeah, that wouldn't we be no good. We don't need that. <laughs> Yeah. Is that to make it stronger? Okay. Yep. That makes the joint stronger, or? No, that makes the loop. What you do, you take the cable, right? And you separate three strands. There's six strands, you separate three, right? And you wind it down, and then you cross it over, and then you wind it back around, and that's what it looks like, see? Uh -huh. And then when the, the, the rail, the way around the end, you can wind that around too, see? In fact, what I'm gonna do, hey, I'm gonna get a cable, I'm gonna show you guys how to do it. Uh, young David picked it up, right? he picked that up. Right? Oh yeah? Yeah, so I, mean, I want you guys to know how to do it too. So why not just, Loop the cable around and put those those uh, clamps on it. It's not, it's not strong it, enough. It could slip. It could slip right? Uh huh. Okay. This this cable will break in, in a straight line before it ever breaks in there. Yep. Can you imagine this machine was stuck? Remember the picture I showed you was stuck so bad. Remember how it was stuck down in an old stable? Yep. It was stuck so bad. In in the, the pond, dozer. right? Yeah. Yeah. And we had the dozer hook on. We had two of those cables, right? And they're both the same length. And just like that, and they pulled that machine right up. <laughs> now that was a DH spinning his tracks, and if, if, it, if it was going to break, it would have broke there and then, wouldn't it? Huh? Yep. You're damn right. Yeah. Now years ago, they never did it like that. What they used to do, they used to wind the cable all in, each one of them. Oh, what a job, though. I don't know if, you ever, if I run across one of these, I'll see it. But. Like, like where, where you, un, where you unfurl the, yeah, the, they, the cable on the... They used to splice them. Imagine yeah. That. Well, I've seen uh, like ships ropes like that, right? Yeah. Where you un you untwist it and you weave them, weave them together. Oh, the, the, you turn, oh, it's, it's an awful job to do. Well, they, with cable, I bet they, it's they, they you know did no. That years ago. Yeah. yeah. Nope. Yeah. yeah. And so you have these short cables just so you can have keep yeah. this short piece of boom on there all the time. So you yeah. Don't... Well, the base. Yeah. The base. Is, that the I base. Yeah. The base because it wants to go up in the air when without you need a little bit of counterbalance. You know, when uh huh. What? Oh, uh, we got another chain over here. Alright, so the bridle's chained up. Oh, 
We're gonna pull with the excavator, and George is gonna let off on the brake. Don't pull the. Yeah, we'll we'll take the take the tension out of then we'll screw the uh the, the shackles out. Yeah, just pull it back just a little bit. So you're gonna let off on the brake now? Yeah, we're taking those out. Yep. No, well, hey, they're, they're all still under tension. We still have to I think so.
up, aren't they? I was messing with this thing here. Okay. We're gonna get the backhoe and hook onto the shaft right and hold it tight right where it is now. Okay, so where it, it is. Fall down. Right. Then I'm gonna boom this thing right down to the ground, right? Okay. It's gonna stay there, right? Right, because the right. shovel's holding it. And when I get the weight off and then he can he can pick that up a little and we'll get the legs in. What do you think? Okay, well yeah, that's, that's, that's a good idea, that's yeah. A, that's a logical thing to do. It. Yeah. And now the, now the big crane down there, the boom. Now remember I told you about angle? When you get a lot of boom, you've got see. See, there's not enough angle. We, yeah. can, we can use a four, another four, uh, three feet of angle, right? Yep. So when you got a longer boom, right now, if you had 80 feet of boom, that leg would be way up near the top there. See? Yeah, because it would, it would bring, be bringing that tip further yeah, out. When yeah. You see the angle up there? The angle is what you're dealing with, you know? See the angle of the cable and yeah. down to there? you got to bring that whole angle higher to get these in, see? Yep. Yeah. Okay, so we'll have the coring, bring the coring around yeah. to the other side. Yeah, so then we'll get we'll get to Sean over and let him understand it. Now we he's gonna have to go easier. We need a guy on each side. To throw the pin in? Yeah, and he can hang on to the cable, right? He can hold on to the cable to steady himself. The one on this guy, we don't want anybody underneath you. Right. If you have it, she'd come down and she'd kill you, right? Yeah. You wanna stand off to the side, right? Now does that sound like a better way to do it, huh? Yeah. What I'm telling you? Yeah. Yeah. And, we, and with the uh, coring, yeah, you well, can uh, Sean, you, can, you can feather it real well. We'll get Sean over here. Hey, Sean, come here. So the plan was for the excavator to be able to hold that gantry up 